Hey everyone, I'm Rosie the Riveter, and I became a cultural icon during World War II to encourage women to help with the war effort. In the 1980s, I became an icon of American feminism as well. After men were drafted into the war, women viewed it as their patriotic duty to take jobs in the steel mines, shipyards, factories, and operated heavy construction machinery to assist in making munitions and other war supplies. During the war, these industries employed over 3 million new women to work jobs traditionally done by men. World War II was the first opportunity for women to show they were more than capable of excelling at these male-dominated jobs while men were off fighting in the war. Mothers organized groups to help one another with chores and children. Sometimes they moved into apartments together to watch each other's kids, save on utilities, and food, as well as other expenses. When the war was over, some women felt like their wartime duty of working in factories was over, and they returned to their previous jobs and roles. Sadly, even women who wanted to continue in factories and shipyards were expected to leave their new jobs too. When we look back on history, we see that it marked the beginning of societal change for women in the workforce. The We Can Do It slogan now represents a moment in history when women proved to be an essential asset in winning the war. I hope to continue to inspire women to push the boundaries of what they believe they are capable of forever.